My name is Farouk James and I'm just about to go back but I'm going to tell you all about myself. I like flossing, I like football, I like rugby, I like modelling. Farouk. Hello. Farouk was born with a lot of hair. In fact, even when I had um, a scan done when I was pregnant at about six months, you could literally see it floating around in the, um, in the womb. Yes. Can you help me to get something down? What do you want to get down? You know the box that looks like I just can't. Okay, I'll quickly just get this. It was a lot of work for somebody so young because obviously you have to sit down and you have to um, have your hair done because if I don't detangle it, it's just going to be dreadlocks. Farouk, good listening, no twerking. No twerking whilst I'm working. But luckily I had some experience with mixed hair because I've got two older children. One's now 27 nearly, and so and they were mixed as well. So I had experience of braiding the hair and stuff like that. Every three weeks, I will always alternate with conditioners and generally, when conditioning is hair, it's like a half a bottle per, per wash. He was signed with a model agency and he had a couple of shoots when he was about six months and I think the hair was at a reasonable length then for him to be a boy with hair. It was like the cliche, bowl style afro. Um, but as it grew longer and longer and became, you know, more, more maybe female looking, I don't know, but just more, it dropped more, it wasn't as up and out. Um, the model agency said, you know, if you really want to get him a lot of work, you need to cut his hair because it wasn't really accepted, especially at that time, for boys to have long hair, long curly hair, it just wasn't accepted. Um, nowadays, he's, it's, it's, people are trying to get that sort of length hair, especially as he, at this age and as he gets older, it's you know, really cool that the fashion companies want that look, they want that androgynous look, and that little bit, you know, to be a little bit different. And we don't accept all the jobs. There could be some jobs that insist they want him to do the job in the weekday when he's at school. Um, and they don't think about kids that have to go to school. Now he's happy, playing FIFA, having his hair steamed. What could be better? This is the life. <laughs> do you like a foot massage at the same time? So generally, when it comes to the modelling, they send me the clothes, companies, will, I'll work direct with them, and then I do the shoots myself. So they'll send me the clothes, I take the pictures, when we're out and about in London, or wherever when we're travelling and stuff. And um, so it's less intrusive for him, so he doesn't have a, you know, a collage of photographers coming, different photographers, I'll do this pose, do that pose, or dictating how he should stand or look, or how his hair should be. We're not trying to you know, make lots of money or have him working all the time. It's not about that. The things that we do on Instagram enriches his life. I mean, because it's, you know, blogging, we get, sometimes we get free accommodation, free travel. We get invited to have amazing experiences along with other, uh, other kids that do blogging. So it's really changed his life. It's enriched our life. What he gets from his modeling, his money goes into his trust fund. So when he's old enough, he'll have some money to fall back on.
you know, we always try and give and we always try and share. And naturally, Farouk's a quite sharing, he's a sharing, giving child. He's not that sort of person that wants to be the best. He's quite happy with just being who he is. We have a lot of positive messages to share with people, which is about to be yourself, to be confident, to, you know, if, to be different, embrace who you are. And especially with boys, I mean, every boy is entitled to have long hair, short hair. I am quite worried about secondary school because there's not one single school that takes boys with long hair. I don't know what we're going to do because Farouk does not want to cut his hair and at the moment, I mean, he's only seven, but he said if he has to cut his hair, he's not going to school. So, and I've tried to like talk him into it. I'm saying, you know, well, Farouk, you need to cut it when you're 11 because you'll be at secondary school. That's his identity, his hair, and going to take away his identity. And you're already telling a child, your hair is too long. Why is your hair long? You're a boy. I think that, you know, a lot needs to change. And there's still a long way to go, even though you can see those changes. People think, oh, it's cool. At the moment, it's a cool thing for boys to have long hair. It shouldn't even be a cool thing. It should just be a normal thing. What do you want to do? Football player, basketball, rugby, banker. Bye. That's it. Not again. Whoa! <laughs> I'm going to get kicked in the teeth. What next? I don't know. <laughs>